This is our Killers Audience Profile Research Task. Uh, we chose to do it on the F Killers. They are an American rock band that originally formed in Las Vegas. Since they arrived in 2001, the band has had international success through their four top chart albums. The band comprises of four members. Brandon Flowers, the lead vocals and keyboards. Dave Kione, guitar and backing vocals. Mark Sturmer, bass guitar, backing vocals, and Ronnie Venucci Jr., drums and percussion. Uh, well, first of all, we needed to uh, create a survey using SurveyMonkey, and then from there, we tried to aim the survey best at the best possible like, audience, so we went on YouTube, and then from YouTube, uh, we, we found the best uh, hits that are the most successful hits with most views, um, to try and to get to the most killers members as possible, uh, and then through that, we got uh, as much sponsors as we needed. We started off with some assumptions to try and see how we thought we perceived the fan base for the killers. We thought at first they'd be rebellious, aged 15 to 35, wear casual clothing, have musical hobbies, very driven, adventurous, like the killers because their lyrics have meaning, they'd be described as the explorer for the four C's, um, hardcore fans and have a cool attitude. And then that was based uh, mainly off the media and then other uh, assumptions and then partly due to their clothing as well and what they wear during the music videos. Uh, well, our first question was based on age, to, to see what kind of age bracket we had. Um, and then 60% of the respondents were aged between 15 and 24, uh, which we found quite surprising for an old band. Uh, but then we also found uh, that 10% were, were between the ages of 36 to 45, which uh, was less surprising. And we, we, we believe uh, the reason is because a lot of people start this, enjoying this kind of music at an early age and they keep to it uh, for, for the, well, as they grow up. Uh, for the second question, we asked the people whether they, whether they saw themselves as rebellious. Um, we had 50% of respondents say they occasionally thought they did, whilst the other respondents were quite mixed and varied. Um, this suggested that they were less of a reckless rebellion and more of a driven rebellion, like doing it for a cause. Uh, this, was, this one was aimed at uh, clothing. Uh, we, gave, we gave a few options, uh, and the, the, the highest percentage from 80% was casual, uh, which wasn't that much of a surprise for the fact that um, the, the band uh, typically wear casual clothing in most of their videos and you know um, outside. And uh, we also found that some 10% uh, ten, ten wore the Killers merchandise, which suggests to us they're quite hardcore fans and that the, uh, they're, yeah, they're very into their music. The next one was a control question asking them who their favourite band was. This was to make sure that people who were asking were fans of the Killers. Whilst 70% of them were fans of the Killers, we also had 30% which liked other bands such as 21 Pilots, Florence the Machine and the Beatles. We can conclude the fans are adventurous within the same genre. Furthermore, this can be categorised as the personality type of Explorer. Um, we, asked, we, we didn't want to ask um, explicitly what their a personality type was, so we, we tried to kind of sneak in uh, and find out which, which one suited them best. Um, and we found out that 40% came under the, the, the personality type of the reformer, uh, which are considered the intellects, uh, anti-materialistic, and seem to value their opinion. Uh, this idea didn't conform to our assumption, as we believed it would be explorers that would be the main successful, uh, because uh, we believed the listeners would have a materialistic view, uh, because of some of their songs performed, uh, they had this kind of idea. Um, and then we also found that uh, 20%, uh, yeah. Uh, Categorised as the Aspara, it's right down on there. Uh, okay. There we go. Okay. Uh, we asked them why they liked the Killers. Um, these are a few answers that were given to us. One person said, They've been listening to the Killers since they were very young and always found the sound of their music to be unique. Another said they sound they sound perfect and kind of 80s influenced. And again, they're really original, unique, that sort of um, area. And their lyrics are relatable. Another person put, because they make great music and it means something while also having integrity. Uh, we asked how committed the, the fans are. Uh, we already discovered they were quite committed through the, the fact they wear the fans' merchandise. But we thought another way we could ask is their commitment to music itself by asking how often they listen to music per week, uh, with the highest option being seven plus uh, hours. 
and we found that 50% of our um, respondents answered with this. Um, it's stereotypical for rock fans to be committed to music, so we found this assumption to be true. Um, yeah. And then we asked them what their hobbies would be. Our original assumption was that the fan base hobbies would be musical instruments. However, in the end, we found that they were more varied than we um, at first thought, including drawing, reading, different kinds of sports, and computers. However, our assumption was right to some extent, with a majority, quite a few people saying they did play musical instruments. Which, is, which we found like in the actual music videos, uh, instruments are sewn quite often. So we feel maybe this is where the, the interest in music actually comes from. Um, and then we also, we analysed one of the music videos um, called Mr. Brightside, which was made in 2006. And we, uh, we found whether the, it conformed or didn't conform to our, to our assumptions. And then we found, the, um, we found that in the actual music video narrative that the, 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 lead, singer, the lead singer found to be Explorer, uh, because he, he's trying to seek new things in the music video, and that's the narrative. Uh, and then we can also, like I said earlier, the instruments are shown frequently, which where we believe the the hobbies shown by the respondents come from. Um, and then we found that doesn't conform is the the band seem to wear suits in the uh, music video, and we found that uh, I think it was eight percent of most of our respondents wore casual. Uh, but we can also see the struggler trait actually shown by a female role uh, in the music video. Um, we also analysed some posters um, of, the, of the killers. This overall image portrays a detective in rank flying glass, this idea reverses the themes of discovery, which is connected to the explorer. However, the old style sort of clothing relates back to the killers and their 80s influence sort of music. Furthermore, the idea of crime refers to the rebellious character assumptions we discovered from the audience. Thank you.